Full forecast. Let's take a live look tonight over in Newport. Things are looking pretty calm. We see that bridge shining nice and clear out there. Meteorologist Cade McNeil is in the Weather Center for us. Certainly no heavy rain or landslides like we're seeing in California, but man, is it cold out there. It feels really, really brutal once you're outside. Yeah, it's been frigid really this entire weekend, and unfortunately these cold temperatures, Sheena, are going to continue into the morning commute on Monday, but some changes on the way by the afternoon with a little bit of a warmer trend ahead over the next several days. Let's take a look at another part of Rhode Island, downtown Providence right now, where we are clear tonight, not looking at any rain or snow. We'll be staying dry through Monday, but those temperatures frigid out there we're right around 20 right now in Providence, and we're going to continue to get colder as we head towards the overnight and the start of your day on Monday. So those temperatures across the area in the teens and low 20s, 20 in Providence, 19 in Narragansett, Taunton, just a few degrees warmer right now at 23. But those wind chills already below 10 degrees in some spots, 9 in Providence, 7 in Smithfield, down at the coast, 8 in Newport. And overnight, we'll be seeing those feel like temperatures reaching around 0 to 5 degrees. So another frigid night on tap, unfortunately, and that's going to carry over into the start of your day on Monday. So again, frigid temperatures tonight, but warmer temperatures on the way by Monday afternoon. So We'll start off cold, but by the afternoon, seeing temperatures a lot more on average in the upper 30s. And we are tracking our next rain and snowstorm on Tuesday into Wednesday, which at this point looking like it'll start off as snow and then turn into rain by Wednesday afternoon. Your wind chill forecast here. So overnight tonight, again, seeing those wind chills right around five degrees, uh, dripping or dropping down to around zero, especially northwestern Rhode Island as we head towards the start of your day Monday here. And we'll be really cold as you're heading out the door for work or sending the kids off to school, but then those wind chills starting to moderate as we head towards the afternoon and those temperatures increase as well. So let's take a look at that temperature trend here. We're starting tomorrow a lot warmer over the next several days than what we've seen here, especially towards the end of the week, Friday, Saturday and Thursday as well, all above average right around 50 degrees for your afternoon highs. Satellite and radar, not a lot of clouds across the area here, staying clear and dry overnight tonight and staying dry through Monday as well. We do have a high pressure system in place here down towards uh, West Virginia and Kentucky, but the next system we're tracking to our west right now, but that'll continue to move towards southern New England, bring some snow and then rain to the area Tuesday night into Wednesday. So let's kind of take a look at the timing so far. So again, frigid overnight tonight, leading way to a cold start on Monday, but we'll be right on average by the afternoon, a little bit warmer. Clouds start to roll in overnight ahead of the system that we're tracking. We'll start off dry for the first half of the day, but then some snow starting to work its way in. Could start off as rain initially, but then turning to snow overnight on Tuesday, but then rain returning by Wednesday afternoon. Monday morning, starting off sunny and frigid here. We'll be warming up though by the afternoon with highs a lot more closer to average in the upper 30s across the area, but we'll be chilly again as we head towards the overnight with the clouds starting to build ahead of that system we're tracking for Tuesday. So after Monday here, we're looking at a lot more of a rainy pattern coming into place for the next several days as we head towards the mid and end of the week. But it finally warms up a little bit. Yeah, so looking at much milder temperatures than what we've seen the last couple days for sure. All right, thanks so much.